Hello, this is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you one of the cards from a card kit by Valerie from Val by Design. And uh, I actually ordered it through Scrap Mania, which is a scrapbook store, and she mailed it to me. So um, I'll link that down below uh, so that you can call them to order a kit if you would like. They did include the list of Copics they use for each card, but I'm going to be using my Spectrum Noir Tri Blends so that you can see me use these a little bit more. They also included these foam squares, which are really cute, um, and they're black, so they help with like the shading um, underneath stuff, if that makes sense. So they're all black, so you don't see like the white foam uh, in between your layers. So I'm just going to give you kind of a, a view on that, and then I'm going to set it in front of me so I can follow it. Um, there are instructions included on what to do. I'm not following those. I'm just going by looking. Uh, this is how I have cased cards forever for the last 10 years. Um, I'm glad I opened it because I didn't know there was an inside and I actually forget there's an inside so I don't color that or anything um, or show you that ever again. But I'm glad I looked inside so that I know that there's a top and a bottom. <laughs> so I'm just sticking down the red panel to the whole uh, card base and then I'm kind of waffling between the dots and the stripes. The dots are on the sample card, but um, I finally went with the dots. But I think the stripes may have been a little bit too much for the Oh Happy Day um, scalloped piece that you see to the left that we're going to put on top. So um, the dots were a little more subtle for the background. So I just centered that. And then to stick down the dirt hill or the desert since he's a cactus, I'm going to center the Oh Happy Day scallop and then kind of tuck this in to see where I want it to go. And then I accidentally let go of it and it didn't stick down, which is good. And then I just kind of put that where I wanted it and stuck it down. So it's a little off center, but you're not going to see that once we finish the card. And then I'm going to sprinkle out all my little tidbits. I'm going to set these aside. Um, actually, no, I'm going to put this because uh, the rest of it I can do after this is raised up. So I'm going to use the black foam squares that were included in the kit and put those all around this frame. So that'll be lifted up because then we're just putting the cactus and his rock and his cake and his presents and stuff uh, inside of the, the circle. And even if I had to tuck something in, uh, this will be raised up so that would be easy enough. And then you can watch me pick all of these off. And then we'll center that on the front of the card. It's very sticky. I'm trying to grab it in a spot where there aren't any foam squares. And then I'm going to set that aside with the happy birthday banner while we color our cactus and all the pieces and I've already picked out um, most of the tri-blend markers that I'll be using. I'm using the Alpine Green Blend for the cactus and this is uh, in the Spectrum Noir set Alpine Green is what replaced Antique Green which was an AG but the numbers are the same. The colors are different. And this is one of three sets, I believe. Three families, color families that got new names. Um, antique green, which didn't even really make sense to begin with, turned into alpine green, which makes more sense, I guess. Um, and then the dull pink, which was not a great combo, turned into dusty purple. So it's got the same initials. Um, I have a video, a complete review video of all the tri-blends, a couple videos back. Um, if you are thinking about getting them or if you have any questions about them, I go into detail. I really like this tan shades combo. The TN markers in the original set um, were okay, but I think this is a really good combination. This is definitely different from the same numbers. And I'm just using my Copic blender. You can really use any alcohol marker blender to erase any outside the lines 
coloring that you do by accident. And then we're going to color his party hat and his presents to match. I believe they were colored the same um, on the original card to match. So I'm using the, um, the dark red blend, which is really just the dark red colors, but the lighter side of them. Um, they just have the initials DR for dark red. The Spectrum Noir Tri-Blends that I'm coloring with, they also have a dark red shades, which is even darker. So this is the lighter half of the reds. And I really like um, the color that it makes. And I also really, really like this True Blue. Um, these same numbers in the original markers were an awful blend if you were to do them in the same order. And this is a much better uh, blue and it goes really well with the red. All of this looks very patriotic for now, but they blend well together on the card. And then I just use, I'm going to be using the ice gray, uh, the darker ice gray. The darker ones are called shades. So ice gray shades or ice gray blend. The blend is the lighter one. I'm just going to use the lightest one to color in the, the ribbons on the presents. I think the sample had like a, a really light gray. And then I'm going to use it to color in the rock that will be holding his cake because he's in a desert and cactuses don't have tables, I don't think. He does have a pot though, which is weird in the desert, but that's okay because he's cute. So I'm just showing you that there were some, there is some shading in there. I'm not sure if the lighting was going to show you that. And then this purple, which is just purple blend, um, or purple, yeah, purple blend, um, I think is my favorite purple from the tri blend markers overall. There are a few, um, the hydrangea blue, it's just hydrangea blend, but it's more of like a purpley blue. I don't really like that one so much. Um, there's also a lavender blend, which is good. There's dusty purple and pink violet as well, but I think this purple PL uh, blend is my favorite. So we're just going to color in his little cactus flowers with the purple. And then for the birthday cake, for the cake portion, I'm picking gold yellow, which just comes off as like a cooked vanilla cake to me. Uh, what the top, if you were to cook it in the oven, what the top color would look like. So I'm just blending all three of those. And then I'll be using the lighter half, the magenta blend to color in the frosting. There's a magenta blend um, and that's the only magenta in the tri-blends, but it also has a bright pink blend, which is the lighter half of the bright pinks, and then a bright pink shades, which is the darker half of the bright pinks. And then I'm just going to use one of the yellows. I think I picked the mid one on the citrus blends for the flame. I was almost reaching for Copics for these random fill-in colors, but I wanted to stick with the tri-blends so that you know it has enough range to color everything you're coloring. And then I just put a dot of orange. I always do this to my candles. I fill them in with yellow, the candle flame, usually on Lawn Fawn because they're very small. Most candle flames on any stamp is going to be small, but I fill it in with yellow and then I put an orange dot so it looks more realistic. So now we're going to stick them down. I've got my art glitter glue ready, one of my many, and I'm just doing a light gluing because it's a very good glue, uh, and I don't want any of this glue to kind of squish out. So I am building it. Uh, I'll show you the sample uh, picture again as well, but I am building it per the, the sample photo. Um, I'm really not straying from that because I have zero creativity and... Um, I didn't want to. It was a good card, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Put down his present, and then he has two little cactus flowers on his hands, which are adorable. They kind of look like hands, but it also looks like he's just holding flowers. And then for the birthday banner, I just assumed that, um... There is some glue 
on either end and then along the bottom. So that's how I glued it up. And then I'm just going to stick that down, rub it in a little bit. And then the cactus flower goes on the other end and the present on the other end of the banner. And then, um, this wasn't in the example, but I'm going to be adding some white accents with my jelly roll pen. I use a 10. Now I have a handful of eights, but it's just too thin. The 10 does a much better, um, white accent. So I think I need to pick up a few more of the 10, the 10 ones. Um, I put three dots on the flames and then, oh, I give him cheeks. And I proceed to pick up the three white dots from the flames onto my finger, which I'm going to show you after I fill in his cheek dots. So I picked up the flame dots, so now I have to redo them. And then I'm just adding white accents to the rest of it and his hat. And then I'll show you um, this one compared to the example picture again. So again, I'll have the link below and a phone number if you want to call the store. If you want this kit, I'll make sure that they still have them first. If they don't, there won't be a link below. And thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.